Yesterday didn't quite pan out completely how we thought because originally we we're gonna go get the inspection and get the title done, but they threw us a curveball that the guys in Austin didn't tell us about. Good morning, adventure friends. I'm trying to wake Aaron up. She's right here. I'm freezing. She's cold. So we figured out that in, when you're in a big box that is like a, a metal box that's not converted yet, when it's cold out, it's cold inside, and when it's warm out, it's really warm inside. It's cold and damp, <sighs> really damp. It rained pretty hard last night. Um, we're just past El Paso in Texas right now, headed towards San Antonio. We've got about seven and a half hours left to drive to San Antonio. And we're gonna do that today. Um, yeah, I hope today we can have a shower. Oh, that would be nice. Really dreamy. Mm hmm. All aboard. Doodle. We have breakfast. Now we're back on the road. We've got a long drive, like nine hours, I think. Woohoo! Yeah. yeah! It is so beautiful. We are surrounded by big, gorgeous mountains. Mexico is right there. We're cruising through Texas on the I-10, headed for San Antonio. So, back on the road. I'm gonna see if I can edit a video without getting carsick. Once we got into Texas, um, really beautiful mountains earlier in the day, lots of shifts in the weather. We saw like these huge rainstorms off in the distance, but we hardly got a single drop of water on the windshield. It was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I think we're both getting like maybe a little tired. We're, we decided we're not going the whole way to San Antonio because it's just too far today and there's not a lot of places for us to park this big beauty overnight. So we decided we're going to stop a little bit short of San Antonio and get some sleep and then head in in the morning to start um, actually putting together our bus as an RV. So exciting! We're so excited. We'll be able to get our hands on Brian's tools and we can start just like setting up our sink area and all the things that we need to do to drill in uh, to the floor and lock down our door. It's been kind of like unnerving having a school bus door that doesn't completely lock uh, with all the stuff that we've purchased within the bus to make it RV. Where we're at. Um, I'm really enjoying this drive. I feel super chill. I decided not to edit any videos because, like, it makes me car sick and we're just like wobbling around non stop. So it's not even worth it. I'm just playing DJ, catching up with people on social, and uh, checking out my handsome man while he drives us along the I 10. Very rock and roll. What day are we on? Four? Something like that. I think we're on day four. Um, How'd you sleep? Last night I slept pretty good. Um, it was a little humid, so I'm not really too sure what we're going to do about the humidity. Damp. Damp. You said something about so damp. having uh, the heater will knock that down? I hope so. <laughs> we're gonna, we got to get a heater, but like last night it was hot, kind of. Hot yep. and damp and then cold and damp in the early morning. I don't know. So our next Sweaty stop, now. we're looking to head to a store to grab a propane heater, an indoor propane heater, and then return this electric one because it doesn't work with the goal zero. It's too many watt, watts, too many watts. Yeah, so. we did not make it to San Antonio last night. It's just too far. We've got like another couple hours to go. So 
to get to the destination in San Antonio, we're still from here. Oh, we're only 52 miles. Look at that. That's not bad. All, All right. right. On the road. Let's go. Oh, I'm gonna wait until this uh, this postman, so he doesn't get pissed off. Okay, we're putting in the sink now into this table. So we just put the base of the sink or our beer tote. <laughs> What's that called? Beer tub? Beer tub. We took the base of our beer tub and we put it on here, traced it. We're gonna cut it out and then we're gonna put it on the template on the bottom or the underside of this table. And then we're gonna trace it so the sink will sink <laughs> the sink will sink into the table, so then it won't slosh around while we're driving for our temporary RV setup. So here's the loophole that we discovered when you're trying to get a school bus titled as an RV. You've probably noticed as you do your research that you only have about a 30 day window to transfer the title of school bus over to RV. So this is us crunching down and trying to assemble all the components for the RV title. That way we can uh, get that RV title before that 30 day period, because quite honestly, I don't know who has time to do a full conversion in a 30 day period. Even for like a pro who does this all the time, that's probably pretty tight timeline. So this is us starting to do one of the six things that are required is getting a sink put together with a fresh water source, yeah, so this is kind of our rigamajig setup. Um, as you'll see, my outfit has changed originally. I hadn't used tools for a long time, and um, originally I was wearing flip-flops and a kind of a cute outfit. And then next thing you know, we decided to put on some more proper clothing um, because safety is definitely a big deal when you're working with power tools. Yeah, so now before we start working on anything, we're definitely talking about, okay, well, what safety equipment do we need to be wearing, personal protective equipment, so that we're safe during this whole process. In future videos, uh, we're wearing various things and we talk about what safety equipment we're using. So let's talk about the human curiosities. I think it's actually called creature comfort. So this is us here <laughs> getting the pipe cut for the faucet, which is pretty cool. Which is but, one of the creature comforts that we needed. Yeah, so the assembled vehicle manual that you can find on the Texas DMV website talks about how you have to have a cooking facility on board. Now this is something where, you know, you've got a hot plate, maybe propane powered or, or electric powered or something like that. Yep, and you also need a refrigerator and a toilet with exterior evacuation. What's funny about Texas is they say, hey, you need a heating or an air conditioning system on board that is, you know, powered separate from the vehicle engine so we ended up opting for the heater because we're heading up to Canada to do the convert like the main conversion yep and we already talked about a potable water supply but the sink and faucet is a necessary part of that with also some kind of gray water collector so we just threw a bucket under the plumbing yeah and then the last thing is an electric power supply that's separate from the engine so we're getting everything installed inside the school bus which we took all the seats out uh, the guys at AAA busted that and we so thank them for it uh, got our Yeti solar system installed um, as well as put a bed in there and uh, Aaron definitely had fun cooking yeah, it was awesome. And um, we were super happy to know that we passed with our rigamajig uh, thrown together kitchen and all that jazz. Um, they accepted us as an RV and we got the title. Yeah, yeah. It's official. We are on route to go get the title from a bus to an RV. 
Are you excited? We are totally excited. We have everything installed as per their recommendation, and now we are headed out. Good morning, adventure friends. Good morning. So it's the next day. Yesterday didn't quite pan out completely how we thought because originally we we're gonna go get the inspection and get the title done, but they threw us a curveball that the guys in Austin didn't tell us about. They said we needed to get our rig weighed before they could give us the title. So and the scale at the house doesn't uh, you know calculate that much weight. So we actually have to go to a certified weigh station. And uh, if you've ever needed to do this, we're gonna include a link in the description to the website that has weigh stations for public use all over the U.S. and I don't know if it does Canada too but we'll check it out and you can check it out too. That's right we've been super lucky over the past few days we came to visit Brian's dad and his mom Sandy and this has been so great because we've got to hang out with them use their tools with them they've helped us so much with this bus and yeah. we had an angel the neighbor her name is Tina she said we could park in her driveway so yeah. that has been super helpful um she said tons of gratitude to yeah. you Tina tons of gratitude she said as soon as the bus drove into her driveway she's like oh it's a lot bigger now that it's in my driveway <laughs> so anyways we're so excited and thrilled today we're back on the road um and we are set up as like an rv Almost. So Almost. first we're going to go to the weigh station, get weighed. And then the second thing we're going to do is go to the title place mm -hmm. and resubmit our paperwork. They said we had everything else in order. We just need to have that weigh certificate. So we're off to go do that next. Let's go. <laughs> All right. So we are headed to get certified. That's the U-turn right here. That's a good gangster shot. This is the bus. Was I talking to you on the phone? Yes, that was me. Nice. I'm Hi. Brian. I'm Erin. All right. You said what? Is it Brian? Yep. All right, Brian. This is Ellen. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Ellen. All right. So we're going to do this as a, um, uh, the first thing that we usually ask. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on just a second. Yep. <laughs> we usually ask for like a truck number. Do you want me to put personal or is there any other thing you want me to put in there? I uh, put personal because uh, this is going to be titled as a motorhome. All right. I already got your weight. Go ahead and come on over to the fuel desk. We are the only building with the flag where the 18 wheelers are fueling up. All right. I see it uh, behind me and to the right. You got it. All right. Rock and roll. I'll see, see you. Soon. All right. Come on in. That was pretty easy. Easy breezy. <laughs> Only building with the flag. There's the flag. <laughs> <laughs> see that? You see that? We got the plates. We've got RV plates. Yep. We got the title coming in the mail. We're ready to go to Canada. <laughs> We're ready to roll. Yay! It is so exciting. So uh, the uh, the bus weighed in and without a problem, we got it certified and the, the form and certificate and all that. And then we went back in and it was no problem at all. We had to uh, send them the pictures. So we got on the laptop and emailed them the pictures of what we've done for the conversion so far. 
Yeah, so if you want to learn more about what we're doing to convert our bus, um, our schoolie, to give you schoolie tips, go to the link in the description. You'll see Get Your Schoolie On. That's where we are going to be putting all the dirty details of every single thing that we do along the way, from installing a temporary lock and a temporary sink to ripping everything out of this thing and turning it into a beautiful sink sanctuary on wheels. Yeah, yeah. So if you haven't yet, go ahead and click subscribe and hit that bell to be notified every time we come out with a brand new video just for you. Until next time, friends. Adventure on. Adventure on. Bye. Bye. Oh. oh, and be sure you tune in for a trip to Canada. We are going to take this bus across the American and Canadian border. It's yeah. Interesting. It's going to be totally interesting. And what's cool about it also, it's, it's going to be the like inaugural massive trip of like 1600 miles, all in the pre-conversion status, yeah. but it's going to be interesting. Yeah, let's go. That is on. We're gonna put our plates on. Can you believe it? I can. I'm so excited. I am we too. literally just got qualified as an RV. This rig, our rig, the Beatmobile. Where do you put it? Where do you want to put it? Does it matter? Yeah, yeah, it does. There's one Where did spot. it go? There's one spot to put it. Where do you think on it should the, go? Right here. Isn't that where it goes? I don't know. Is there a better place? Here. I don't know, step back and take a look look at it and tell me where you think it might go. Oh, right there. There you go. Bust in my balls. Bust in your balls. <laughs> Here, hold on. There you go. There, here, let me put this together for you. The Lone Star State, there Texas, Texas. I never thought I would own a vehicle that was from Texas. It's funny, right? Yeah. Or from Arizona.